Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Corps. So with summer drawing closer and closer every day, and the fact that the pandemic doesn't seem to be going away, one of the things my family and I have been thinking about is using something like a projector in order to play movies and video games outside and to maybe invite a couple friends over as well while still maintaining social distancing. And so today we're going to test out that theory using a portable projector called the Ape Man LC450. And my whole goal with this is to try to put it in a real world scenario. I'm not trying to make the best picture possible or anything like that. And while it's not going to replace my TV anytime soon, it does kind of create a unique opportunity to be able to play games outdoors with my family. And as you'll see later in the video, my kids just loved it. So without any further delay, let's check this projector out. So this device costs about 120 bucks and I got it through amazon.com. And I have to admit, it was a little unique to have something shipped to me within just a couple days. I'm so used to everything coming from China and taking forever. It comes with a quick guide just to show you how to plug things in, as well as a very thick and comprehensive manual. Inside the accessories box, you'll find a power plug, as well as an AV in. So if you have like a retro system you wanted to plug in, you could use this. It also has its own HDMI cord, and then some cleaners for the lens itself. This controller is kind of your typical remote control. It does have a keystone function in case you want to use the projector at a specific angle. But other than that, it's exactly what you would expect. You can change your different inputs, you can change the volume on the device itself, and so on. This takes two AAA batteries. Okay, so unboxing the projector itself, it is actually surprisingly small. And it's very lightweight as well, it's a little over two pounds. The build quality on this is pretty good. It's actually a little better than I expected. The speakers are on the bottom, but you can see all the connectors are on the top. You have your power input on the left, then a USB port for flash drives as well as power, an HDMI port, as well as an AV in that also functions as an AV out if you want to use external speakers. Adjusting the focus on this is super simple. It's just a knob there on the front. And the way this projector is made, it keeps all the dust out of the lens as well, which helps in its longevity. On the bottom, it has a little tripod stand, so if you have a small tripod for a camera or something like that, you could use it on this as well. Okay, so let's quickly go over some use cases with this device. So you could use it with an Amazon Fire Stick to stream things like Netflix, same thing with a Roku, but you could also use something like Raspberry Pi 4, anything that really has an HDMI out on it. And the more portable, the better, obviously. Something like the Super Console X Stick Pro is a very good fit, as well as just the regular Super Console X Pro as well. And if you happen to have any handheld device that has HDMI out, like the Retroid Pocket 2, this would work on it as well. So while I have this nice pretty background going on, let's go over some of the specs. This has a 1920 by 1080 native resolution, and depending on how far back you move the projector, it can get up to 120 inches of screen, and it has that 50 degree keystone correction in case you have to angle the projector itself. Now I couldn't find any specific stats about the display itself, like how many lumens it is, but it is pretty bright, and the stereo sound is pretty good, and it actually gets pretty loud. The manufacturer says it's going to get about 50,000 hours of lamp life, which is pretty dang long if you think about how many video games that would include. And probably one of its biggest strengths is the fact that it's portable and diverse. It's only 2.2 pounds, you can attach it to a tripod, and it has HDMI and USB and AV input. So let's go over a couple quick scenarios on how you could set this up for gaming. So here's my Super Console X here. And as you can see, you can kind of just lump it together with the projector itself. It's a little awkward looking, but at the same time, it's kind of neat how portable it is. You could just use a small HDMI cable between the two here, but the only issue is the fact that the Super Console X requires a dedicated power cord, so you'd have to have two different power cords coming from this device. Now if you used a different device, something that was USB powered, that would make things even easier. So for example, here's the Super Console X stick. I'm going to use a small HDMI extender here, and then I can use the USB port for the power of the device itself. So there we go. Now I have my Super Console X stick ready to go. You could do the same thing with a Fire Stick or the Raspberry Pi 4, because those are all USB powered. So here I am taking it outside, and here's a quick introduction of Momo, our dog. She's nine years old. She is a Boston Terrier Beagle mix, and she never stops moving, so that's probably the best you're ever going to see of her. And so here's the projector here, and I have it turned on, and obviously it's not bright enough to project during the daylight, but you get a good idea of basically how the setup's going to look. And I'm just projecting this onto the side of our house here, 
We don't have any special projector screen or anything else like that. But again, I really don't want an elaborate setup. I just want to have something that's quick and spontaneous and kind of fun. Like, so for example, if we want to invite friends over and have like a socially distanced picnic, we could use something like this to enjoy a movie afterwards or a couple rounds of Street Fighter 2. Okay, so immediately after dinner the other night, I decided to set this up and see what we could do with it. As you can see here, I ended up using a higher stool. That way I had a better angle here. But as you can see, my two boys here are playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the arcade using MAME 2003 Plus on the Super Console X stick. And this is probably around 6 p.m. at night, so it's not very dark out, but you can still see that we're getting a really good picture here. And this actually projects at a 16 by 9 display, but as you can see here, I have the aspect ratio switched to 4 by 3. But here we are with a 16 by 9 game. We're running a PSP mini version of Jetpack Joyride. And it looks pretty stunning. This is probably around 60 or 70 inches right here on our wall. And the darker it got throughout the evening, the better and better the picture got. My kids had a blast with two-player co-op on some of these retro games. And it was pretty funny to watch them try to play Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. And they know how to play this game, but only on like the Switch version, you know, which kind of holds their hands. The old Super Nintendo one is kind of a beast if you don't know what you're doing. And it was pretty funny to watch these guys like go backwards on accident, just like I did when I was like 10 or 12 years old. Now I'm going to use the Super Console X stick here to switch over to the Android side. And just as an example here, you can see how you can boot into YouTube, watch your favorite YouTube videos here. My kids just love watching me review random electronic devices, as you can see. Or you could just pull up some random TV show on YouTube, like this Super Mario World cartoon. Now, once it got dark outside, I decided to test it on something that had a little bit clearer of a picture. So here I am using the trailer of Raya and the Last Dragon. And I have to say, it was kind of stunning. And this is just running a YouTube video here. So imagine playing this on something like Netflix or Disney Plus. It's going to be a really fun time. But admittedly, at the end of the day, my kids had the best experience when they were trying to play video games on this screen. You know, they mess around with my retro handhelds from time to time, but I don't think they'd ever played a game like this on a big old screen like that. And it was pretty cute, you know. The next day during breakfast, my five-year-old came up to me and said, Dad, wasn't yesterday exciting? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I guess it was pretty exciting, man. And so he's already been asking when we're going to do this again. And I think that's a really good sign, and I'm really excited to give them the opportunity to be able to invite a friend over to play video games here at a social distance setting. So wrapping things up here, there's a lot of possibilities with this projector. Now there are definitely more expensive options out there, and there are those that can actually like wirelessly stream from your phone or from any other device. But I kind of like the simplicity of this, just the fact that everything is tactile and hands-on. You know what you're getting into. You got a USB port, you got your HDMI port, you have these physical buttons to work with. And I really appreciate that about this projector. And so I think at the end of the day, this projector stands at a very good middle ground. You can definitely get a clearer picture, better sound, and more connectivity if you end up shelling out 200 plus for a projector. And you can also get projectors that are just kind of lousy for less than 100 bucks. At the end of the day, the portability of this projector is kind of what sold me on it. And I'm excited to say that I was even more pleased with it once I actually got it in my hands. So I think that if you own something like an Amazon Fire Stick, or if you have a portable retro gaming machine, something like the Super Console X Stick or Raspberry Pi 4, this is kind of a neat solution for both indoor and outdoor fun. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. This is kind of a unique idea when it comes down to it, but I just thought it was interesting enough to share with everyone else. I'll have links to the projector down in the video description below, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming!